Today on Toy Shiz, the Ghostbusters have returned. Let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today, we are totally checking out, mostly, the entirety of the brand new Hasbro Ghostbusters slash Ghostbusters Afterlife movie tie-in toys. We'll be looking at everything from roleplay gear to the action figures to the Ecto-1, maybe some marshmallow goo action. <laughs> of course, everything and anything, as long as it's been available on the shelves. Now, I do want to say thank you to Hasbro. They actually sent over a few of the ghosts for the purposes of this video, so thank you very much for that. But everything else is stuff that I have found either in stores or gotten offline, with a lot of exceptions being they're just not out yet here. And they probably won't be out maybe much until the end of the year. So depending on when you see this video, I'll tell you, yeah, this is uh, long before I've seen the movie. I can't wait to see the movie, but I've been so excited for the toys ever since Toy Fair 2020 when I saw their booth and all the new Ghostbuster Afterlife's offerings. Yeah, that, it was a lot of fun. So I hope this video is just as much fun to watch. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of ectoplasm. This is a look at, well, mostly all of the brand new Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters Afterlife action figures, role plays, slime, marshmallows, everything in the whole shebang by Hasbro. Now to kick things off right, we're going to venture into Egon's lab with the Ghostbusters PKE meter. And of course... If you're a fan of the real Ghostbusters, you'll notice the blue. You're going to need two AAA batteries. This actually has sounds, which I wasn't aware of when I purchased it, but you can use it in the store and check it out, and kids can play with the button and everything else. The little doodads spring up if there's a ghost. And once out of the packaging, you can see, I mean, there's not a lot to it. I really love the coloring to it. You got to get yourself a screwdriver and undo the back. And again, just two AAA batteries. I go with Rayovac, apparently. <laughs> That's all I had. Screw it back together, and bingo, bango. Yeah, you got yourself a working PKE meter. And I love the Ghostbuster symbol on the handle. Everything about it is just very old school, very Kennerish, especially the cool sounds and everything else that it does. I like this. You move it around, you can hear all the different ghosts. It kind of, sort of shares the same voiceover chip that the Neutrona one, the more deluxe Neutrona one had, but it lights up. And I like that the little levers go up and down and you can shake it and you hear ghosts and spooky stuff and noises. And I love the fact that it clips on your belt, just like the old fashioned one, right? Very cool to see that. So this is actually a lot of fun. This is a very cool toy and I think kids are definitely going to dig it, especially when zooming around the house and trying to locate ghosts. The other hand of this would be the Ghostbusters more simplistic Neutrona wand. And this is the non-sound effects, non-music, non-anything. And it just kind of simply twists. And I'll show you all that. This kid's having a blast with it, though. If you have the Proton Pack backpack, which is not out yet here in the States, this will actually clip to it. So that is actually... Pretty dang cool. But once out of the packaging, you can see, yeah, a lot of blues, a lot of Kenner. You got the Ghostbusters symbol. A lot of knobs and doodads and everything else on this. Now, the handle, this is going to be more for smaller hands, which is good. So, nice younger kids will probably get a kick out of this. And right here on the back, you can see that, yeah, it'll fit right onto the Proton Pack. Man, I totally dig that. Now, it is missing the wire and everything. Nowadays, you can't have that because of choking hazards and whatnot. But, you know, in the 80s... I mean, we choked ourselves all the time on wires, apparently. I don't know. This right here, I think, is just another way to kind of hook the clip on to the rack when you're selling it. I'm going to keep it on because I'm going to hang it from the wall. But you simply just take this and you spin it. And that's all it does. So it's meant to simulate that you got the blaster out and you're taking down a ghost. So again, smaller hands, smaller kids, they'll probably get a real kick out of this. It'll be a lot easier for them to operate. But when you have the PKE meter and you have this new blaster, I would say the PKE meter is a lot of fun. That's the one to go with, to be quite honest with you. There's just a lot more to do for the kiddos. Now there is a Ghostbusters whistle. You can get that too. And then you get the full ensemble, right? You get the backpack and the PKE meter and everything else and everything hooks together to be a real 
Ghostbuster, but there are a few other ghost busting equipments out there, which I have actually already taken a look at, like the more deluxe Neutrona one, and that is pretty fun. I mean, except for the fact that it doesn't shut off. I have a full video on it if you want to take a look into detail, so head on over after you watch this video. But yeah, you can definitely see the size difference on this. Smaller hands, younger kids, probably best for them. And then you have the marshmallow popper gun, which I've also taken a look at on my YouTube channel. You got all the little mini puffs and they fit in there and it's like a marshmallow gun. It's actually a lot of fun. Set up some ghosts around the house, kids can have a blast. And then you have the old fashioned Kenner ghost trap and you can see the blues and everything else. Now there is a remote controlled ghost trap, which, you know, <laughs> for those of you paying attention. And I mean, you can see the difference of the blues, a little bit darker to a little bit lighter nowadays, but it's the blue, it's the Kenner Ghostbusters Blue, yeah, again, it's just so cool to have new ghost busting equipment. Now to move into the ghosts, right? Well, that's a whole thing with ghost busting, right? You gotta have ghosts, you can't just have the equipment. Can't tell you how much fun it was to be at Toy Fair last year and see their ginormous display of just everything Ghostbusters from the new movie. And of course the movie got pushed back, unfortunately. So again, very excited to see it. I've been hearing great things about it, but to finally have these ghosts in hand, which out of all the figures, I was really excited for these. These were like the fright features, and they just harken back to that old school Ghostbusters charm that we haven't seen on shelves for a while. And you can screen grab these if you want to go ahead and read up on each of the ghosts, Slimer, Stay Puffed, and Muncher, which, I mean, I can't wait to see what Muncher does, but once they're out of the packaging, they're actually pretty dang fun. I got to play with Stay Puffed at Toy Fair, so that was kind of cool. But to finally, after all this time, you know, seeing him and being within arm's length, we'll start it off with Muncher. He's the new ghost, and actually I was really excited for him because I got a ton of Stay Puffs, I got a ton of Slimers, but this is the first Muncher. and He's the ghost that's most likely in the trailer, I believe, is the blue guy. It might look a little bit different, but we have to see the movie First, he's a garbage eating ghost, it looks like. And in his mouth, you get to see all the garbage. On the back side, you get these two buttons which you can push, and you get to see a stop sign and a fire hydrant in his gut. I mean, that's pretty cool. And he's like shoving trash into himself. So, again, the, the look of it, it's very old school looking. And you move his arms up and down, and he doesn't shoot it out, but it just looks like it's gonna blast out at the Ghostbusters. So, he's kind of eating it. Also kind of throwing it up at the same time. But the two buttons on the back, this is the cool part. You have this like globulous kind of see-through look on his gut. And you push the buttons and all the little things kind of press up against it. It's pretty cool. It's an overall very happy with this toy. Very happy to add him to the collection. Slimer, on the other hand, <laughs> the big old green onion head. Slimer to me will always be real Ghostbusters. The Ghostbusters movie had a different take than what I was used to as a kid, but this kind of formulates them both together in a way. I would say he's very real Ghostbusters, Slimer, less movie looking, and I like the stylistic choices, especially when you push the button on his back and he throws his mouth open, you can see his guts and the slime, and he, apparently Slimer has bones, or he ate somebody with bones, I don't know, but that's the first time we've seen Slimer with bones. But in either case, he's really easy just to kind of put back together, and he'll jump up from his display slime stand and really let Peter Vankman have it. And finally with Stay Puff. Now again, I've got to play with this one early on at Toy Fair last year, but yeah, he's got... A pretty cool design to him. He's a big old chunky Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. And you're going to squeeze his legs together a la Kenner. And he's going to do this. <laughs> Very cool. Now, when I did see it at Toy Fair, I don't remember all the little goopy Stay Puff mini puff guys in there. So I'm assuming maybe it's something for the movie. Maybe they all form together and Stay Puffed again shows up. But I like his like marshmallow spine. That's pretty cool as well. Not a lot of articulation to him, his head will spin and everything else, but the real fun is seeing how his head stays while his body spins. That is awesome. And with any good Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, you're gonna need some Stay Puft Marshmallow Goo. We're not doing slime this time, it's all about the marshmallow goo. And yes, I did take the box home. Why? Because I'm insane. You got six to collect, right? I'll show you how to Get all six right off the bat in just a second. But the box is pretty awesome. It opens up. It's like an old canister. It's like you're buying a bunch of wall putty. You know, you gotta fix a hole in your wall or something like that. It is very evocative 
of the old Kenner slime though. However, let me show you. So a friend of the channel over on Geek Dad Life, he made a video, you can go check it out. If you look right here, I kind of see if the uh, numbers will show up. If you look closely, there's little serial numbers on the white part towards the red cap. And at the very end, it'll tell you what numbers one through six, which one you got. So just get one, two, three, four, five, six, and you'll get all six of these. Yeah, they label them so you can figure it out. But this right here, again, very cool. I, I really wish it was slime, to be honest with you. It looks more like putty. <laughs> Like a ghost that flew out of my wall and I gotta fix a giant hole in the wall. But you get all the different terminologies and it's a compound and it says it'll stain and stick to surfaces. So parents, yeah, maybe avoid this one at all costs. You got the Ghostbusters symbol on the top, which is rad. So we'll just go ahead and open this. So each can has this little plastic piece right here. Get all of it off, pop it open and... <laughs> Yeah, we're already off to a great start on this one. Oh my god, yeah. That's, I've heard I've heard all about this stuff. This stuff gets everywhere. So let's get a plate going and uh, we'll, we'll do, <laughs> do it up right. This is terrifying. Oh my god, I spilled slime last time I did a Venom video all over this. So you got this baggie, which is covered in marshmallow goo. Also, it does say on the canister, preferably not to eat. Like, don't eat this. Like, uh, uh, you know, maybe you could eat it, but uh, you know, don't, probably don't eat it. I mean, you could if you want. Let me know how it tastes. No, I'm just kidding. Don't, don't, don't eat it at all. But you can see the consistency. It's like when you make bread or dough or pizza dough, something like that. It's, it's not too sticky, but it's, it's annoying. <laughs> Look at all this stuff. God, the bag is covered in it. And uh, I gotta, yeah, I'm just trying to avoid my review station. So yeah, you got a bag. It looks like a bag within a bag, I'm assuming, or that's just the way it looks. Let's go ahead and cut open the side and see what's in this bag. Yeah, okay, so it is a bag within a bag and you got the Ghostbuster symbol on there. Ooh, it's a mystery. Let's go ahead and open it up. And <laughs> yeah, you got the Marshmallow Man that's on fire, of course. So that's the one we got of all the trouble digging into a bunch of marshmallow goo. I'm not gonna clean this all up to continue on with this video, but I would say parents avoid this at all costs. Open it for your kids. It's like what my parents used to do when they'd hand me slime, right? Never got the firehouse slime. They took it from me immediately and for good reason. Two carpets uh, are in trouble at that point. Now there is more of a ectoplasm ghost trap slime canister playset which is not out yet here in the States. And it's supposed to come with various amounts of different colored slime, which is cool. Then there's also the Ectoplasm Ghost Gushers. Now, I have seen people finding these. I believe there's 12 different ones. Now this is like the typical old school slime and that there are different little ghosts within the slime itself. And then you get like a squishy, throws up slime sort of deal. So you can get those off Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below if you like. But yeah, in either case, parents, just be warned, do not let your children have this. <laughs> Which, of course, finally brings us to the Fright feature Ghostbuster figures. Now, there's Winston, and there's Egon, and there's Ray, and there's Peter. And as I'll show you in just a few, there are two variations for Winston and Peter. They each come with a different ghost. There is also the Fright features Ecto-1 playset, which... I mean, this kid, he's having a blast on the back of the box, right? And it's got all kinds of firing gizmos and a ghost trap. And you pull it open and you just go, oh my God, there's this is a lot of pieces. It's all assembly required on this, especially the stickers, which go slow. I'm just going to say, especially on the wheel wells of the tires. But here's all the Ghostbusters taken out of the packaging. And out of all the toys, I thought, well, you know what? We had the real Ghostbusters all these years, but we never had actually like movie versions of the real Ghostbusters in that five POA sort of style. But like I said, Slimer here comes with a variation on Peter and these are actually starting to hit Walmart. So you can split Slimer right there, his tongue and you see all his brains and his guts and sculpted in there is pizza and hot dog and a chicken and all that. Very unique look for Slimer. It's not exactly like, wow, that's amazing. But the terror dog, is actually pretty cool. Hey, Slimer and the real Ghostbusters fans, that's the one, right? That's the that's the blue terror dog right there. And his mouth opens up. He's got a big yellow tongue. So out of the two, we'll say between Slimer and the terror dog, I think the terror dog 
he fares a little bit better. I just think he's more spot on. But yes, these are the variations because otherwise Peter Venkman here will come with a different styled ghost. So you got Venkman and he's uh, you got the wrong pants. He, he doesn't tuck his pants. He lets them ride over the boots. I'm just saying, Hasbro, that's something I noticed. Now, these figures are very simplistic. They are what they are. I actually really do like them. But Let's say this, there is a clip for the Neutrona one on the Proton Pack, but because of the wire, I really wish they would have used string or something to that degree. That way, it doesn't look like this. <laughs> and the backpacks are very thin. I mean, it works for what it is. They kind of just slip in there, a la real Ghostbusters, and it looks good. I don't mind it, but it's when you kind of put the Neutrona one on the backpack. It just doesn't look right. It's because of the very heavy wire that connects the pack to the Neutrona one. Arms, legs, head, all those things move. Again, very simplistic, but it gets the job done, and they're actually a lot of fun, and I really like the very cartoon sculpted details for the Ghostbusters. It's just something different, but it fits within this world, and I do enjoy it. And what really works for me is that you're kind of getting a complete package. You get the Ghostbusters, you get the Neutrona one, and you get a ghost. So that's kind of cool. The only thing that's missing is like a blast and a ghost trap to catch all of these individuals they're okay the ghosts i mean i'm if anything i'm just happy they gave you some kind of ghost but they're not all like ah, oh, that's the best design especially when they reuse the design for basically two ghosts and it's the same thing just different colors right so the yellow one the orange one does the same thing i don't really know what i'm looking at it looks like a bob's big boy ghost i don't know but you got ray which again he looks great winston looks great i think that he came out really nice got the mustache going on and then you got good old egon which is fantastic and if you're wondering the scale between slimer and the other fright features ghostbusters yeah he'll work for the most part the stay puffed of course is always out of scale he's roughly the size of the same ghostbusters but if anything being that we don't really know much about Muncher at this point, he works, and I think he's a cool figure. And he'll work really well for your real Ghostbusters figure, to be honest with you. The old Kenner stuff, in fact, all this stuff really does fit quite nicely. Now, one of the standouts, I have to say, I have my issues with it, but I think the Fright Features Ecto-1 is actually quite fun. And underneath, there really isn't a whole heck of a lot to this. It's a very light it's billed as a play set which i mean kind of sort of and again like i said go easy with the stickers especially in the wheel wells you know what i'm talking about when you put it together but everything's there it's the movie ecto-1 it's very boxy but it fits with that kind of cartoony style that these new fright features are going for and everything gets put on assemble it and everything else so it works for me the trunk will open and then you got the ghost trap on wheels that flies out so again that's cool. That's a nice little play feature for the kiddos. And you can see it just rolls out and you got the insides. There's actually a lot of room in there and I'll show you why it really does stand out as far as Ecto-1. So the doors will swing open just like this. You kind of have like that suicide door and then you got this little blaster right here and it can fit on the chair or you can put it on the top of the Ecto-1 as well. And it looks cool. I mean, it's very simplistic. That's It's supposed to be just a fun type of toy and I totally dig it because it doesn't need to be more than this but you can see how this will swivel you can also see the proton pack that is sculpted into the chair so you go ahead and you pop this off and I, I really wish it was spring loaded if anything because it's kind of one of those things where you just kind of push it you know what I mean so it's not like that exciting but you push it hard enough and it will fire and you can take down a ghost now again one of the best parts about this is the large space inside but then also you got the door that swings out and you got the gunner seat and each of the ghostbusters can hook onto the seat you can put the blaster on the side you can put winston in the driver's seat all the ghostbusters believe it or not even though there's not really like a chair for them you can put all four ghostbusters in there and it works because this will remove and you can slip ray in there close the doors and <laughs> as far as like a retail version besides lego and playmobile and all, you know i mean not counting that this is like one of the first times where you could technically fit all four of the ghostbusters in the ecto-1 so thank you for that <laughs> 
all of these are fantastic. It's like a complete collection. Now, there are the four other Ghostbuster kids that are coming, so be on the lookout for those. Those are just not really out yet. I take it back. I do have two of them, but I'll save that for another video. But in totality, the ghosts, the ghosts that the Ghostbusters come with, this giant Stay Puff that came out early in the year because all the Ghostbusters merchandise has been every which way, really does a cohesive job of just making a lot of cool Ghostbusters merchandise. And fear not, for all you real Ghostbusters fans out there, yes, this Ecto-1 will definitely work for those as well. You can even put Egon behind the driver's seat if you want. So just... It's a lot of fun. I mean, I'm really happy with the way these came out. It, if I was a kid back in the day, man, I would just be stoked. This is killer. Now, if you're interested in the Ghostbusters Plasma series, more six-inch figures, I have a video up for that. I also have a look at the Kenner Real Ghostbusters reissues that are Walmart exclusive, so you can see all of those. And for the you fan-made fans out there, I have a look at the Bam Toyko Sam Hain figure, which is absolutely awesome please do check out those videos if you get a chance and that really is going to wrap it up for my look at mostly all of the new ghostbuster toys for the ghostbusters afterlife franchise by hasbro now i'll tell you this when i get more toys i will do an update and i'll have another video out but this is really what you're going to find on store shelves between target walmart amazon and the like not everything is a complete home run we're going to totally just exclude the marshmallow goo. I think that, that if anything, that is just a total flopperoo, right? Ectoplasm would have been so much cooler, right? Hopefully, I'll get that ghost trap place in. I'll look at the ghosts and I'll look at the slime, see how it measures up. But it's really the fright features, all the ghosts, especially Muncher and Slimer and State Puff. Those are a lot of fun. Having a new Ecto-1 with all the ghosts. The roleplay gear, I think, is a lot of fun. I think a lot of kids will get a kick out of it. It's great to see Ghostbusters back on the shelves and not to beat a dead horse. But yes, I am very excited for the new Ghostbusters movie coming out. But I am curious to know what you guys think about all these new toys. Have you picked up some? None? Like me, you got all of them because you're crazy. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Ghostbusters Afterlife. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, my high hopes is that the Ghostbusters movie just rocks it and they just keep making Ghostbuster toys until the were chickens come home. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Mm -hmm.